Good morning, praise the Lord. Today, May 30th, I want to show you an attribute of God. God is a consuming fire. You must be frightened to hear this, but we should know the truth, no? Uh, Hebrews 12, 28 and 29 says, Serve God acceptably with the reverence and godly fear, for our God is a consuming fire. There are many people who think that God's wrath is not consistent with his goodness and so seek to banish it from their thoughts and avoid mentioning it. The wrath of God is as much a divine perfection as is his faithfulness, power or mercy. It must be so, for there is no blemish whatsoever, not the slightest defect in the character of God, yet there would be if wrath were absent, absent from him. Indifference to sin is a moral blemish and he, he who has it is a moral leper. How could he who is the sum of all excellency look with equal satisfa satisfaction upon virtue and vice, wisdom and folly? How could he who is infinitely holy disregard sin and refuse to manifest his severity towards it? How could he who delights only in that which is pure and lovely, not loathe and hate that which is impure and vile. The very nature of God makes hell as real a necessity as heaven is. He is a loving God, but at the same time he is just. That you should keep in mind always. He cannot serve, we cannot serve him acceptably unless there is due reverence for his awesome majesty and godly fear of his righteous anger. And these are best promoted by frequently calling to mind that our God is a consuming fire. By doing so, we will understand that the wrath of God is a perfection of the divine character upon which we need to frequently meditate. Our hearts should be duly impressed by God's hatred for sin and when we firmly believe it, we will be fervently praising him for delivering us from the coming wrath. This is what... Uh, Paul says in 1 Thessalonians 1.10 God has made no attempt to conceal the facts concerning his wrath. His justice is exercised through his wrath. As the second coming is fast approaching and so many signs are being revealed, we should be careful to leave our evil ways, evil ways and come back to the Lord with repentance and ask him for pardon. That's what we should be doing now. It's very urgent. When we accept him as our Lord and Savior, we'll be able to escape his wrath. That is the truth. Let's pray. Lord, help us to remember that our loving God can't tolerate sin and evil ways. Please let us be in a position to please you. In Jesus' precious name I ask. Amen.